Welcome to the Morph Neo channel, where regular and crypto games meet. If you love regular FPS games, blockchain-based NFT and play-to-earn games then subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to watch our videos, and stay up to date. In this video, we'll discuss information about the Chumbi Valley project and CHMB token. Blockchain gaming, along with the play-to-earn movement, are signaling a paradigm shift in the gaming space. Players have always been the central driving force behind any successful game, and now they can be rewarded with crypto for the contributions that they make to their gaming community. The founder of the new blockchain game aimed to establish Chumbi Valley as a leader in this revolutionary gaming space. They believe that now is the time for blockchain games to feel like the beloved video games that we grew up with. Chumbi Valley will offer an enjoyable and familiar gaming experience, without complicated blockchain jargon. The developer are focusing on building a strong community and listening to feedback right from the beginning. They do not intend to rush any aspect of this project, their vision for Chumbi Valley is long term. What is Chumbi Valley? Chumbi Valley is an enchanting role-playing blockchain game. It is being built on BSC and Polygon for its near instant transaction speed and almost zero fees. The game will be playable in app form, launching on PC, Mac, Android, and eventually iOS. Chumbi are NFT creatures and will be used in-game to help you acquire NFT items and blockchain-based tokens. Chumbi Valley's visuals are completely original and inspired by classics like Zelda, Stardew Valley, Pokemon and Studio Ghibli. Players will be immersed in a mystical forest and spend many relaxing hours raising creatures called Chumbi. Most excitingly, players and Chumbi can work together to be rewarded with cryptocurrency for farming, exploring, crafting, breeding, battling, and more. If this sounds interesting then let us go further, but before that a short disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and consult several sources before making any investment decisions. All the information about the game in this video can be found on the game's website, in the white paper and several other sources on the internet. The information we gathered from these sources is intended to be accurate at the time of recording of this video. Please note however that the blockchain-based gaming world is a very fast-spaced industry and is in a constant state of development and evolution. With our quick review series, we wish to give you a short summary of many blockchain games, highlighting some important features of the games, scoring and ranking them solely for orientation purposes and not for judgment. If you have already seen our previous quick review videos and know our scoring system, you can simply skip the next two minutes and continue with the video in the next chapter. At the end of the scoring process, an overall score will be created for each game we have reviewed. Our review and scoring system is very simple and answers the following questions. 1. Is the game already playable? If the answer is yes, then 1 point, otherwise 0. 2. Is the game free to play? If you can start to play the game without any investment then the score is 1 point, otherwise 0. 3. What game modes are available? Is the game a PvP or a PvE game or both modes are available? If only one mode is available, it could be PvP or PvE then the score is 0 points otherwise it is 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? For the purpose of our scoring system the definition of a play-to-earn game is where you can directly and unconditionally earn coins, or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to stable coins or fiat money. If the answer is yes, then 1 point. If, however, Players can earn coins upon some conditions or players can only use the in-game currency they receive as a reward to upgrade their assets, or buy NFTs, and cannot directly convert it to real money, then the score will be zero points. 5. The fifth question will have two parts. One part is whether the game token is in the first 1000 ranked by market cap on CoinMarketCap website. If yes then half a point, otherwise zero points. And finally, we can give half a point based on our subjective opinion of the game, where we take into consideration factors like, the game itself, network, team, activity, transparency etc. Overall, the maximum score a game can get is 5 points. Let the analysis begin. First question. Is Chumbi Valley game already playable? Chumbi Valley is in the pre-alpha development phase. There is currently no official release date for Chumbi Valley. 
the Chumbi team had previously mentioned estimated release dates for the game. Due to circumstances outlined in detail throughout this update, these target release dates have not been met. After one year of waiting, Chumbi Valley finally releases its first gameplay video. Many thought the project was a scam, but they were wrong. This video is proof that the team has been developing Chumbi Valley behind the curtain and that a closed alpha is now closer than ever. Besides the video, the team also justifies why there was a delay in the development of the project. This is the game development update number one and, accordingly to the team, it will be the first of many. This is footage from Chumbi Valley's pre-alpha version and its main purpose is to give the community a glimpse of how the game will look like. It is possible to see the main character wandering around while being followed by three Chumbi, the magical Pokemon-like creatures of this world. According to the light paper the pre-alpha version is in progress. This is the test world. It is a small randomly generated map that is designed to test core gameplay mechanics without blockchain integration. Unfortunately, there is still no date for a demo or the game's beta, which will be the game that the developers release to the public to play. All in all, Chumbi Valley game is not a playable game yet, therefore, we give to this topic zero points. Score, zero. Is Chumbi Valley a free-to-play game? The game will be distributed on a free-to-play model. The developers promise that each player will receive a free pet, Chumbi. It won't be possible to sell him, but he will help in exploring the world where NFT items can be found. Chumbi Valley will be free to start. You will be paired with an Ancestor Chumbi to get you started on your adventure. Ancestor Chumbi can help you with basic tasks but cannot be sold or traded. So, Chumbi Valley will be a free-to-play game, therefore we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. What game modes are implemented in the game? PvP or PvE or both, who are the Chumbi? Chumbi are charming two-legged creatures that live in a lush and mysterious forest valley. They have a spiritual connection to the forest and use magical spells to maintain and protect it. The foundation of a successful game is pumping up your Chumbi. You will be able to fight wild Chumbi and other players to level up your Chumbi, this will be a sort of career mode. The stronger your Chumbi is, the further you get. You'll be able to send your Chumbi to a sage to pump up his spells. You can use food to boost your Chumbi's happiness level. The more time you invest in your Chumbi, the more expensive it will be. This game is different from the other NFTs that we've known so far. We have seen many games focusing only on the earning side with a very minimal and exhausting gameplay. But Chumbi Valley is stepping it up when it comes to those stuffs. Talking about gameplay, you got those sweet looking creatures, PvP, PvE, offline training feature, and even a lending feature. It gives us the whole Pokemon team vibes that we had back then. This will be probably a classic RPG game that we will surely love and will spend insane amount of time exploring the game. In Chumbi Valley players can battle against Wild Cursed Chumbi, PvE game mode, and other trainers, PvP game mode, to increase their Chumbi's level. In addition to, we're looking forward to its battle system as players have 15 elements to collect and battle with, which adds longevity to the game. The game will feature multiple in-game earning paths. As players expand their Chumbi team and improve their Chumbi skills they will be able to complete more play-to-earn tasks. Forest House The game will start in a house that is located in the forest. There you will meet your first Chumbi. Work together and replenish your team with new Chumbi. Work together to gather resources for valuable NFT items to populate and build your home. Explore you can activate an ancient portal and explore random locations with your team of Chumbi. In these random locations, you can find rare NFT items and find the cursed Chumbi. Farming Rare forest seeds can be found to create a farm or for other purposes. Seeds are also in-game digital assets and need to be watered and grown regularly. In addition, the harvest is valuable material for creating Chumbi's favorite food. Offline Rewards When you send your Chumbi to Sage Chumbi, you'll learn how to automatically water crops, chop firewood, fish, collect rocks and other passive abilities. This means that your Chumbi will automatically collect valuable in-game tokens, even when you are out of the game. Renting a Chumbi You can rent out your precious Chumbi to other players and play with him. 
Of course, you will receive a percentage when another player wins with your Chumbi. Chumbi Village Chumbi Village will feature NFT-based plots that players will be able to buy as NFTs. Owning a plot means you can customize it, sell it and gain access to special events such as capturing wild Chumbi and joint raids against giant cursed Chumbi. All in all, Chumbi Valley have PvE and PvP game modes as well, so, we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. Is the play-to-earn format implemented in the game? Can you directly earn coins or tokens by gameplay? According to the Light Paper CHMB is Chumbi Valley's primary token and is deeply tied into every aspect of the Chumbi ecosystem. CHMB is required when users participate in various digital physical Chumbi products, as the ecosystem grows, so does the utility and demand for CHMB. Lucky Stars, LSTS, is Chumbi Valley's secondary token, it has been designed to power the play-to-earn, player reward system. LSTS has an infinite supply, but is also required and burnt in Chumbi Valley game mechanics including breeding, crafting recipes, spell improvement, and happiness level. This makes LSTS a prized commodity as it is required to create new Chumbi and to improve them. Players can earn LSTS by battling wild cursed Chumbi, the stronger the foe, the more LSTS is rewarded in PvE mode. Players can also battle other players all around the world and win LSTS for their victories in PvP mode. Additionally, players can obtain LSTS by exploring, completing in-game quests, farming crops, gathering resources, and selling in-game assets and items to the wandering trader. LSTS will be minted each time a player completes a play-to-earn task, and it will also be burnt in increasing quantities as players breed and improve their chumbi. Summarizing the information, it seems that you cannot earn directly and unconditionally CHMB tokens through gameplay, only intermediate materials and secondary token, called Lucky Stars. In the light of this information, we are not able, on the basis of our scoring and ranking system we have established, to claim that this game is a play-to-earn game. As the final version of the game is not yet available, it is not possible to verify with absolute certainty whether it is possible to earn CHMB tokens directly playing the game. Also, whether the secondary tokens you earn can be freely convert to CHMB token or whether they must be kept inside the game to buy NFTs, or make decisions that affect the outcome of the game, so Chumbi Valley is not a play-to-earn game according to our definition. We can give zero points to this question. Score, zero. Market cap and subjective opinion. The live Chumbi Valley CHMB token price today is 0.00026 US dollars. The current coin market cap ranking is 3438, with a live market cap of not available. The circulating supply is not available and a maximum supply of 30 billion CHMB coins. So, the score for this is 0 points. Our subjective score based on the game, network, team, investors, activity, transparency etc. is half a point. Summary of our analysis. 1. Is the game already playable? No, it isn't. Score, 0 points. 2. Is it a free-to-play game? The game will be distributed on a free-to-play model. Score, 1 point. 3. What game modes are available in Chumbi Valley? It has both PvE and PvP games modes as well. Score, 1 point. 4. Is Chumbi Valley a play-to-earn game? No, it has an intermediate step, you cannot earn CHMB tokens directly. Score, 0 points. 5. Is it in the top 1000 by market cap? No, it isn't. Score, 0 points. Our subjective score half a point. The final score is 2.5 point out of a maximum of 5 points for Chumbi Valley. We hope that our quick review and comparison method we have set up has helped you to get to grips with this game and that the analysis and overall score has helped you to make your decision to learn more about the game. What do you think about Chumbi Valley? Would you like to play with this game? Please share your thoughts about the game in the comment section below. Would you like to get a deeper analysis video about Chumbi Valley? If yes, please drop it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, we would really appreciate it. In our next video we prepare a quick review about drunk robots, so please make sure to subscribe to the Morph Neo channel not to miss it and hit the notification bell.
Thank you for watching and see you next time in our next game review, gameplay, or tutorial video. Bye.